In today's video, we'll be learning how to use OpenAI's whisper models to create transcriptions of audio files or video files in R using the OpenAI R package. My name is Melissa. I make R programming tutorials and data science videos. If you find this video helpful, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making more. The video that I'm going to create the transcription for is a video that I've already manually created a transcript for or semi-manually. It's another video on my channel where I talked about how to send automated emails using Blastula, Cordo, and GitHub Actions. And the way that I had created this transcript originally was by using Descript, which is what I use for video editing. And then I just took the transcript from Descript and basically fixed up most of the typos. So I want to see how Whisper compares to whatever Descript is, or I guess was using at the time for creating their transcriptions. So I've got this video file right here, which is what I'm going to use. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to load the packages that I'll need for this. So I'm going to load OpenAI. And I'm also going to load the tidyverse because it's there's a good chance that I end up needing it at some point. And then from here, the next thing that we'll need to do is make sure that we have an OpenAI API key. If you've watched any of my other videos about OpenAI, you likely already have your OpenAI API key. But just in case you don't, the way that you do it is by just Googling for OpenAI API. And then if you go to the first link, you can either log in or sign up and then select API, go to personal at the top right, and then view API keys. And then you can generate a new secret key by clicking here. Make sure that you copy that onto your clipboard because once you close that window, you won't be able to access that token ever again. And then to set your API key, there's a few different options. So one option is to set it as a system environment variable which is what I've done. If you're on Windows, you can just search for system environment variables and then click on environment variables. You can click on new, type openai underscore api underscore key, and then paste your key in there. Alternatively, you can also use the sys.setn function and you'll pass a named list. So here you'll type openai, underscore API underscore key equals, and then you would paste your secret key there. Because I've already set mine as an environment variable, I actually don't need to define that. So from here, it should be really straightforward. We're gonna be using the create transcription function from the OpenAI R package. And it's likely that the model that we choose is going to impact how expensive it is to perform the transcription. So let's just take a look at the OpenAI API pricing so that we know what we're getting ourselves into. So it's fairly cheap. It's less than a penny per minute. So I'm going to create an object called my transcription, and then I'm going to use the create transcription function. It seems like maybe I don't have the most up-to-date version of this package, uh, just because that's it's not popping up as one of the functions available from this package. So I'm going to reinstall the package. So let's remove OpenAI, and then I'm going to try reinstalling it. Hopefully the version that's on CRAN already has that create transcription function available. But if not, there's likely a development version that we can install from GitHub. But let's try the, the default version first. Okay, let's reload OpenAI, and then let's see if the transcription is available. Okay, so it is. So now I'm gonna use the create transcription function. The file that I'm gonna use is that one that I showed before, and it was called blastula and github actions.mp4. And then for model, let's take a look at the models that are available. And here we can see that the file uploads are limited to 25 megs. And these are the file formats that are accepted. So you could use audio files or I'm using a video file. So based on the documentation here, it looks like 
there's really only one model option and that's just whisper one. So let's set the model to whisper one. Let's see if this works. Just from Googling the size of this file, I think we're gonna hit an error since it's saying it only supports files up to 25 megs in size. Yeah, so that, that video is not gonna work. So I'm gonna check if I have any shorter videos. Okay, I've got a video here. This was my video on image classification and object detection from a little over a year ago. And it looks like I've got a transcript for that one as well. And it is smaller than 25 megs. So I'm gonna use that video instead. So I've updated that file path. I'm gonna try rerunning that. Let's take a look at the transcript that I had created. I made this one in the same way. So this was just using Descript's transcription on the edited video file. And then I had gone in and just cleaned up the, the typos in the transcription. So it already created that transcription. So let's extract the transcript from there. And this is what it produced. Just from looking at this really quickly, it does look like it did a pretty good job. There's certain words in my videos that the transcription service from Descript always seems to get wrong. Pretty much anytime I'm talking about R, it thinks I'm saying the word hour. So the fact that the Whisper model got this correct without me needing to manually specify that that was one of the topics that I was talking about in that video is really impressive because with Descript, usually what I have to do is pass like a dictionary of commonly used words in my video and then it'll try to get those words correct. But with this transcription, it got it right off the bat. To be honest, creating transcripts is one of the most time consuming portions of making YouTube videos. So the fact that I could potentially use the whisper model to do transcription on some of those shorter videos would be awesome. The other thing that I'm noticing is that it's got really great punctuation, spelling, grammar, which definitely can't be said for all of the transcription services out there and certainly not for Descript. So overall, I'm really impressed with this transcription and this probably only cost a couple of cents to make because I think this video was certainly less than 10 minutes. And if I compare it to the transcript that I had created, it looks like the Whisper model actually did do a much better job. For example, here I was saying stuff like tiny dash yolo dash voc dot weights and here it managed to figure out exactly what i meant so overall this is really impressive as always i'll include the code for this video on my github and i'll put a link to that in the description thanks so much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that i can keep making more videos like this